Managing users and groups in SOLIDWORKS PDM is a crucial part of any PDM administrator's job. When a new employee starts, he or she will need a login. When an employee leaves, it's best to ensure their account is no longer active in PDM. The first thing we're going to do is create a user. This can be done a couple different ways, but we'll start from inside of the administration tool. On the left hand side, I will right click on the users node and select new user. At the top, we can see all users that have been created, but are not active in this vault. I'm going to select new SOLIDWORKS PDM user. Next, we will enter in the user's login name. This is the username that will be used for logging into PDM. Now I will fill in the remaining information for Tom. I will create a password for him, and he can change that later. And lastly, I will note that he is a sales rep out west. I can copy permissions from another user, but we will be assigning those at the group level instead. Now we get to the user properties. On the left hand side, we have our categories to go through. We're going to start with assigning Tom to a group. Notice that the groups tab is empty. Tom isn't assigned to any groups yet, so the tab will remain empty until we add one. We click add and select the viewers group. Now Tom has been created and added to a group. Let's take a closer look at groups. We can right click on groups and click new group. Tom is a salesman, so let's make a group called sales. Again, we are taken to the properties dialog. Now this is a new group, so just like with adding new users to groups, we can add existing users to new groups. Next, we get to the permissions. We're assigning these at the group level because it's easier to manage groups of users than it is a large number of individuals. Folder permissions are first. Folder permissions control access to individual folders in the vault. For example, an administrator can grant engineers full write access to an engineering folder, but grant only read access to a marketing folder. State permissions control access to files in a given workflow state. To check out a file in a given state, you have to have both folder and state permissions. Transition permissions determine who can move files from one workflow to another. And lastly, administrative permissions control access to administration tool features such as managing users, data cards, and workflows. Even if you have no administrative permissions, you can use the administration tool to change your password and user settings. For more information about permissions, check out our video all about permissions.